Hi, uh, in this video I will show you how to uh, wire a fridge compressor so that you can use it as an air compressor or a vacuum pump. It uh, basically comes down to adding an on-off switch um, so that you can operate it manually. Um, fridges uh, switch on and off uh, automatically uh, when the temperature inside the fridge increases they are switched on uh, and as soon as the temperature drops uh, they are switched off so we have to replace the temperature switch so uh, the thermostat with an on off switch this might sound very simple but in fact peop most people find it uh, the most uh, difficult part of uh, of the process of converting uh, uh, a fridge compressor into an air compressor but once you know how to do it, it's actually very, very easy. So uh, let's start with uh, with the parts you should salvage uh, from a fridge uh, when you remove the compressor. Well, um, you should basically keep as much parts as you can because, well, the compressor is almost already um, almost already has all the parts needed apart from the switch. So you should keep the the mains plug as well as the cable, while everything that's housed uh, under the, the plastic cover on the on the compressor, as well as the other cable which uh, uh, which goes uh, into the fridge, it is uh, connected to to the thermostat and uh, it uh, it is used to power the light inside the fridge. Okay, but uh, now that we understand all the parts that uh, have to be salvaged, so let's talk about wiring. And uh, I will use an example to show you how it should be done. First, let's talk about uh, wiring in general. Uh, there are uh, well, some sort of standards for color coding of wires uh, so that uh, well, you can easily identify a circuit just by uh, looking at, uh, at the wires. So in the European Union um, we have brown for line, blue for neutral and uh, green and yellow for ground. In the United States and Canada uh, you can expect black wires to be line, white neutral and green ground. Um, well, check the article yourself uh, it will be definitely useful. Now let's talk about uh, um, well, wiring fridges in general. Um, well, you might find uh, um, a circuit diagram on your own fridge or you can google its part number and find it on the internet or maybe in a, in a manual. But uh, here we have uh, well, a generic diagram that uh, basically describes almost any fridge. Uh, the colors here aren't really important. What is important is that uh, here we have line, here we have neutral, and as we can see our uh, line goes to the thermostat uh, which is a temperature switch and when the temperature drops uh, sorry, when the temperature increases above a certain value, it closes the circuit and the compressor is switched on. Uh, as you can see, here we have a PTC starter, relay and so on, but that's not important at the moment. What is important is that there will be uh, a wire going from line to the thermostat and then back to the compressor and these two wires uh, well we have to find them and uh, uh, well put an on off switch uh, where the thermostat was that's basically all we have to do so uh, well let's get back to our circuit and analyze it mm. 
now that we uh, know how, how it should be done, we can uh, focus on uh, analyzing wiring on this particular fridge and you will see um, how to do it even if, uh, if you cannot find a diagram or, well, there are some extra parts. So first, we'll start from the very beginning. You have to find uh, the mains uh, cable and as you can see it uh, it's right here and there are three wires in it the brown one so line the blue one neutral and uh, the green and yellow one which is uh, ground here we have a couple of terminals which are conveniently placed here so it makes it easy to uh, well attach otherwise them and they uh, well are connected to the starting circuitry as well uh, well the next important part is uh, is the other cable as you can see it uh, has three wires and again here we have uh, the brown one and the blue one so uh, uh, they are used uh, for powering the light inside the fridge but we also have the white one. If we follow the white one, we can see that it goes right here. Here we have a rail, which uh, extends uh, also to the other side. Here we have another terminal with a wire attached to it, and the wire is connected to the starting circuitry. Well, we um, well based on what we what we have uh, just learned, we know that uh, this is the wire. That will switch it on. So uh, again, it's connected to the white one. So uh, white one is uh, well the wire we need. And uh, as we learned earlier, we also need the brown wire. So I uh, put an on-off switch between the two. And when the circuit is closed, the fridge will start. At least that the theory. So let's see if it works. As you can hear, it does. So, uh, well, that's how you do it. I hope you liked the video. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.